Yes, yes, perfectly. The connection is very good. Ex excuse me? No, it's because I'm calling just by audio. Pretty good. Um, sorry, I have a very busy schedule. That's why it's very hard to talk. Um, and uh, we have this difference in time, so it's not easy. <laughs> but how are you doing? No, no, actually, it's um, almost uh, 2 o'clock p.m. in here. So I already had a busy morning. I had a lot of classes and I came home to have lunch. And now I have to go back to the school in 10 minutes or so. So that's why I just have 10 minutes to talk. Really? Why? Nice. Where are you from? You're from India, right? Where in where in India are you from? Mm, not much. Just from the movies, Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've I've watched some of Bollywood movies. I think you have a quite good industry. All the movies I watched from Bollywood, I like it. I've, I've watched Lion. I've watched Slumdog Millionaire. And I've watched My Name is Come. All of them are good. Yeah. Um, I'm... I'm not uh, actually learning English. I was in the app uh, like I talky because I'm studying German and uh, I'm also studying Swedish. So I kind of have some German partners and uh, Swedish partners. But I don't know. Everybody wants to practice English. So why not? Yeah, no, like a Swedish, I have a lot of Swedish friends and they are learning Portuguese while I'm learning Swedish and uh, they help me um, in their free time. And uh, when I have uh, spare time that they are busy, I try to use my uh, I, I talky partners to practice and German because I want to visit Austria next year and I want to know at least the basic. <laughs> oh, I wish. No, <laughs> no, no. I just have um, it's because I've worked in an export company. So I have some friends all around. But I, I don't travel much. I wish I had more money and more time to travel, but I don't. I'm teaching. I am an English teacher in here. Yeah, yeah. I, as I told you, I entered Italki to practice German and Swedish, but I don't know what happens that everybody wants to practice English, so why not? Wow, yeah, uh, but but Europe, Europe is a lot better than the United States. I wouldn't travel to the U.S. Go to to Europe. There are some 
great countries where English is the second language, but everybody speaks English. For example, Sweden, everybody speaks Swe speaks English. In Ireland, everybody speaks English. All right, you, you, you don't want America, you want South America, all right. Brazil is a nice choice, for sure. Yeah, I can imagine flying from India to South America must be expensive. I see, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it would be a, a nice experience. I I have uh... no no. I I I was going to tell you that I have a student that lived in India for three months because she's a model, and uh, she had a job there, so she stayed there for three months. Because uh, she 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 had some jobs in India, so she she stayed there for three months. No, um, I've learned English in uh, an English school, and I did an interchange program to Canada in two thousand eight. And German, I'm learning here with a friend of mine that lived in Austria for 16 years. So she's teaching my business partner and I German. And Swedish, as I told you, I have some friends. They are kind of help me. And I have those apps like Duolingo and italki. So that's pretty much how. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was yesterday. Sure, the Independence Day was yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we are not very patriots in Brazil, so it's a normal day. It's good because of the holiday. There is a parade and everything, but I never go. So I just stayed home during the day, and at night I went out with my friends. But since it was a holiday, so it's good because you can rest. No, no. I live in a state called Minas Gerais, which is in the southeast of Brazil, and we don't have beaches in here. It's not on the coast. Yeah, yeah. The nearest beach is like um, eight hours drive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's not near. Here we have more like uh, historical cities and um, the state is famous for the food and uh, for the bars. We have nice restaurants. Basically, it is famous for the historical cities where um, back uh, in time they could find gold and precious stones. And uh, it's like traditionally, traditionally recognized by the food. Nowadays, not much. <laughs> but uh, back in time, Portugal took a lot of gold from uh, our country. There is not much gold left. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, Minas Gerais, uh, you can Google it. Minas Gerais is very famous for the food and the people and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
things like that. But we don't have the, the beach. Um, excuse me? What do I eat when? Ah, yeah. Like, uh, um, I'm always on a diet, so I kind of don't count. But regular people in the morning, they eat cheese bread, which is famous in my state. It's called pão de queijo, uh, which is cheese bread. And uh, people eat bread, uh, cake, cookies, coffee, milk, tea, pretty much that for breakfast. And for lunch, the basic meal is rice, beans. Um, can be a steak with fries and salad. And uh, for the snack, we kind of have the same we normally do for breakfast. So cookies, bread, uh, cake, uh, coffee, milk, tea. And at night, it's pretty similar to lunch, which is rice, beans, salad, and meat. That's the basic Brazilian food. No, it's because I'm fat. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, is it in the Skype? Thank <laughs> you. 